This is a Game Show Geek Special Report. Here now is Corey Evan. Good day to you. It is unfortunately my duty to inform you that an entertainment legend is dead at the age of 82. The nation is paying tribute to America's oldest teenager, Dick Clark, who ignited many a rock and roll career, helped many Americans capitalize on Pyramid, and consistently dropped the ball in Times Square year after year, died after suffering a heart attack in Santa Monica. As host of American Bandstand, he was a primary force in legitimizing rock and roll not only for American teens, but also for their parents. The show also helped launch many a career, including Elvis Presley, Stevie Wonder, among others, and his shows were among the first to include blacks and whites not only performing on the same stage, but also sitting in the same audience. According to singer Paul Anka, Clark's show was responsible for creating a youth culture, and Clark's youthful appearance also had a pop culture following. As a successful business person, he served as chairman and CEO of Dick Clark Productions, of which he sold part of late in his life, and he also founded the American Bandstand Diner, as well as the Dick Clark American Bandstand Theater in Branson, Missouri. Clark suffered a major stroke in late 2004, which kept him away from Times Square that year, but he did return the following year despite his speech being significantly impaired, and he kept on the show every year throughout the rest of his life. He is survived by his wife, Carrie Wickton, and his three children, Richard, Duane, and Cindy. More on this story and other stories coming up in this week's Game Show News. Till then, I'm Corey Evans.